Okay, today it's area of a circle. <clears throat> and the formula for area of a circle is a little tricky of how they got it, so I'll just jump in and just tell you what the formula is. To get the area of a circle, we involve that fancy number pi, 3.14. Circles always involve pi. If you're trying to figure out the area or something of a triangle or rectangle or square, and you're using 3.14 or pi, you're wrong. It's only for circles. We went over where that came from, from the uh, circumference lesson. Anyways, so what you do to find the area of a circle is you take pi, 3.14, and you multiply it by the radius of a circle, which is halfway across uh, a circle, that distance squared. So in like shorter terms, area A, pi is pi, and the radius is squared. If you're afraid of the exponent, and you don't like the exponents thing that kind of freaks you out, you could write the formula area equals pi times radius times radius. Radius times radius, a number times itself, is a number squared, so it means the same thing. Either formula will work. I'm going to go with this one, but if you like this one better, it looks easier to use for you, go right ahead. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at our example here. Let's say we have this circle and the distance is given halfway across, so that is a radius, and it's 3. You want to find the area of the circle. So again, our formula, the new formula we have now, I'm getting quite the collection now of formulas, is area equals pi r squared. Pi times the radius squared the work. We sub in our numbers. Area, we don't know. Pi is 3.14. Stick with that. Don't use the calculator pi in your calculator in this class. Let's just be all be consistent and use 3.14. The radius is 3. So we're going to put 3 as the radius. Don't forget to square it. Now here comes a very important step. Do not go 3.14 times 3 and then square that answer. Follow bed mass. In bed mass you do the exponents first. You do the 2 first, the squaring first. So 3 squared is 9, not 6, it's 9. So it's 9 times 3.14. You do the exponents first. 3.14 times 9. Uh, you punch that into your calculator and you should get 28.3. 28.3, one decimal place we always keep it to. Uh, the units are centimeters, and again, because it's area, it's squared. Done. Okay, so again, don't forget to uh, square the uh, 3 first. Do not go 3.14 times 3 and then take that answer and square it. That's wrong. That doesn't follow bed mass. Okay, example 2. For this one here, uh, you were given the diameter, the full distance across. But again, for our formula, we only want the radius. So we have to realize we can't use the 14. To get the radius, it's obviously going to be half that. Um, to get whatever diameter into a radius, you just divide it by 2. So the radius here is 7 centimeters. Half the distance across, 7 centimeters. We're going to use that, not the 14. We put the numbers into our work. Area, we don't know. Okay, keep it A. Pi is pi. And the radius is 7. And that number is squared. Just that number, not the entire thing. Just the 7 is squared. Okay, and like I said before, do the squaring first. Follow bed mass. Exponents come first. 7 squared, 7 times 7 is 49. Multiply that by the 3.14 pi number. 
when you times those together you'll get your answer which should be 153.9 centimeters squared. Okay, so the only tr tricky thing there is watch if it gives you the full distance across that's the diameter, you need to change it to a radius first, then off you go. Next question. The shaded questions. Here's like a I guess a flag of Japan. And we are told that the little red center of the Japanese flag, the diameter is two centimeters. And the outside border, which is all white inside, shaded inside, is 10 centimeters by six centimeters. I want to find the area of the unshaded region or the white part. What is the area of this? So just like we did with the triangle lesson, what you're gonna do is you find the area of the whole thing, the whole rectangle, and then because we're not counting this, we're going to cut that out, which would be subtract. So the area of the rectangle minus the area of the circle. Plan this out. Area of the rectangle minus the area of the circle. Write down the dimensions. The base for this rectangle is 10. The height of this rectangle is 6. Okay, for the circle, the distance all across is 2. Now, we're talking area though, so we should right away realize that we don't want this too. That's the diameter. We want half the distance, the radius, which obviously is going to be 1. In circumference, the distance around a circle, you want a diameter. In, in area, the formula involves the radius, which is half the distance across. So I would do that change right away. Okay, so there's our situation. Let's do the formula. Which is for area of a rectangle, it's base times height. Minus the area of a circle, which we just did, pi r squared. Okay, now our work. We don't know what the area is, let's see if it is a equals the base, which is 10. The height is 6. Subtract pi, which again was always 3.14, and the radius 1. 1 squared. Okay, um, so next Let's just do it. So area is 10 times 6, which is 60 centimeters squared. That was easy for a rectangle. Over here, um, remember, we do the squaring first. We do this first, following bed mass. 1 squared is not 2. It's 1 times 1, which is 1 times 3.14. And this one's easy. 1 times 3.14 obviously is 3.14 subtracting that from 60 centimeters squared and when you subtract that you get a final answer of 56.9 centimeters squared. Let's put that here. That's your answer. So just like with the area of a triangle, whenever you do a shaded question, um, it's always some kind of subtraction happening between the shapes. Okay, the next question is a hockey rink question. I don't know I didn't draw it very well, but anyways, here is the hockey rink. And so you've got like the middle, the, I guess the, the uh, neutral zone here, which is, I made it really, really long. Um, I've said that it's 14 meters. Let me just change these units here, it won't make any sense. 14 meters and the distance from the blue line all the way across is 7.8. What is the area of this hockey rink? And to figure that out, again we don't have a formula for a hockey rink, but when you take a look at this we have some basic shapes. We've got a rectangle and 
we've got two half circles. Now these two half circles, if you put them together, you realize because they have the same diameter, is a full circle with that diameter. So when you have a shape like this, like I said before, the first thing to do is break up the shapes. A rectangle plus a full circle. So we have two half circles plus a rectangle, and like I just said, those two half circles make one full circle with a diameter of 7.8. So doing our formula work answer thing, as before that when we set up our, uh, our shapes, we have a full circle whose diameter is 7.8 plus a rectangle whose dimensions are 14 and remember the height of the rectangle is 7.8 it's also the same um, diameter for the for the circles as well 14 by 7.8 anyways so there's the uh, shapes and there's the formula we're going to use formula is equal to the circle which is pi r squared plus the rectangle base times height and from there you're gonna have to figure that out yourself and show me your answer before you can proceed to the next or to the worksheet on area of a circle okay thank you very much talk to you later